Now, from the Global News Center, the Halifax Evening News with Ron Kronstein. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. It may be August, but snow was on the minds of Halifax councillors and city staffs today. You don't need reminding, but we went through a brutal winter where snow and ice clearing was heavily criticized. Well, today the Committee of the Whole discussed a winter operations report, and it created some pretty heated debate. Global's Rebecca Lau with details. Disappointed, sloppy, lipstick on a pig, all words councillors use today in reaction to a report on the city's winter operations. The incredible anger and disbelief that came back to me about our response to our residents around the snow. It was as if we had abandoned people. Time and time again, councillors spoke up saying what happened this past winter was simply unacceptable, regardless of what Mother Nature doled out. No, we want to do better. That's the bottom line. I think all councillors indicating that we want to do better. The concern among several councillors was that the budget focused too much on budget and not on results or safety. The Halifax Accessibility Advisory Committee agrees. They met with the consultants and city staff prior to the report, but say none of the recommendations were included. Currently, the, uh, the Tier 1 roads, they have a clearance standard of, of 12 hours, uh, while the bus stops have a clearance standard of 48 hours. So if you've got a car, you can get to work within 12 hours, but if you're dependent on transit, which most people are, uh, are involved in accessibility, they have to wait for two days uh, to get to work or to the medical appointment or whatever. What the report does recommend is increasing the 311 call center capacity and more performance monitoring of contractors and staff. It's also suggested the city expand performance-based contracts to cover more kilometers. Is that oftentimes we have uh, very little control over what equipment is showing up, you know, backup equipment, backup operators. Th these are all challenges that we've, we've, we've faced for years through this model and, and it's our sentiment that by expanding uh, the performance base we, we are essentially we're achieving a lot of the recommendations. Not everyone is optimistic. Paul Viano is well known around the city for taking it upon himself this past winter to shovel and chip away ice on city sidewalks. He even got a tattoo of a shovel in honor of the tough season. He's already prepared to shovel out this coming winter. I've come to see this as my neighborhood and all these people who come into my neighborhood on buses to go to work or whatever. Um, they deserve to have sidewalks and corners that are safe. Rebecca Lau, Global News, Halifax. Committee of the Whole wrapped up this.